hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm making a video about nyc i'm an nyc experience in gombe state jewel in the savannah i'll be jewel of the savannah so if you're watching this video maybe like me you got posted to gombe state i did my nyc in 2021 and march i was batch a stream one so before this period i'd never gone to gombe state before like i was like uh, Abuja babe so anyways my see is to get people to serve and have experience in other states so seeing as I lived in the north I schooled in the west it made sense that when it was time for service they kind of just threw me to Gombe very very far from every other time I've had ex like every other place I had been to so if you're watching this video that means you have made up your mind that you are going to go in this state and i just want to let you know that it is not bad at all like i really enjoyed my service in Gombe state and i'm also here to tell you some things you need to pack okay so before you click off if you are watching this video and you didn't get Gombe state you should still stay to the end of this video because camp is usually is basically camp everywhere like it is the same experience but like in different states so this video is to kind of tell you essential things that you should not forget or things you should have in mind when going to camp so first things first to go to camp you have to set your mindset right i always tell people that when you're going to camp go to camp with this mindset of i'm going to have fun it is stressful and like there's like there's no point going to camp to fight something that you already knew like you are going to wake up early by 4 a.m um depending on the state but the bathroom um and the bed is not going to be something that you are going to love like i mean in my own camp I, the bed was like sliced bread like it was this thing like i was like it was it was a whole other thing so um you wake up by 4 a.m so once you have already gotten your mind acquainted with the fact that okay this is going to be an experience then it will make it easier for you to have fun for the rest of the three weeks so please ignore any background noise because of my, my microphone is bad i just needed to make this video in time for the next set going to come so now second thing is your credentials so by now there's probably like a text message going around of the things you need to go you need your photo and um, passport you need your original copy of your um certificate from school during my own time what i had was notification of result so you need the original copy please ensure you do not take photocopy like have your photocopy but you need the original copy for them to allow you to enter into camp you need your birth certificate you need your call up later so as of this year before you get registered into camp you are going to take a covid 19 test on the spot so just get ready for something to be very like intrusive like that is going to happen then if you do not okay like you need your me medical fitness test so most people that is the angle they use if they do not want to match or something like you know mm -hmm. okay so next thing you need canvas so when going to camp you will need um this rubber canvas um it's you don't need like you will take your actual nikes and adidas or whatever you want to use but i'm like that you could that's not something you wear every day because the uniform on camp is white on white throughout so you need a your rubber canvas that is what they call like washable canvas so that after you wear it, because of the sand the dust you can wash it the very next day so you take two and because in camp well, there's always going to be match pass and parade and this is something i'm going to wear every time please do not make the mistake of buying your size make sure you buy like um two sizes above if possible because normally like if you wear a 41 with shoes you probably already wear 42 with sneakers so for canvas get 43 so that's like that was a mistake i made i got my exact size of shoe and it was hell like you will not be able to walk and it's stressful enough with the sun okay but since this is like december time november i don't know it, how the sun is going to be depending on the state you are serving but it's stressful enough so you don't want that to be part of the chest so please ensure you get your canvas in two sizes and yeah so like you can get two pairs depending on the size of shoe you wear because if you are a man and you probably wear like 45 46 if you don't resume early on camp all those sizes would have already gone by the time you are there and i like camp i saw so many strange things like people wearing 45 choking their leg inside 42 because they just had to wear jungle boots of mm, 
like at all costs or something so please try to be self-sufficient on your own so that whatever they give you like you kind of have your own then you can manage your own like when you have to wear the necessary um uniform so next thing is your fanny pack so um the fanny pack is this waist belt thing that you need so they'll sell these things in mommy market mommy market is basically the market that everybody has on camp but um in every state there is a mommy market so mommy market they have restaurants they have market like well as the name implies so the thing is that because they know you need this thing everything is at like a highly inflated price so normally if you don't photocopy all your documents i think when i was going i did like six photocopies per document if you don't photocopy your documents at mommy market is going to be of a higher price than you would normally do it outside so maybe photocopy can be like 200 for one or something so imagine that over how many documents so try to be like exactly what i said self-sufficient so your funny pack what i do is that because when they share the uniform like the cap um they'll give you the your khaki sets i think they call it six over six that's like the everything so the cap now people used to indicate their plateau number is the number that they'll give you your like your registration number when you get to camp then the last digits will now be your plateau number people used to indicate the their number like at the back of the band of the cap just find somewhere to just write it so me what i used to do is that when i put my fanny pack like my waist pack and uh, my waist my um, purse around my waist i put my cap into it before i now like lock it so that in a way my cap is always going to be on me then if you need to wear your cap like maybe like the camp commandant says oh everybody must be fully kitted then you now put it on so the next thing now, torchlight. Torchlight is very necessary because of how early in the morning you are going to be bathing. So try to get a torchlight that is very bright and something that can easily you can easily charge too. So at Mami Market, they charge power banks, phones, and everything because um sockets are not allowed in the room but it depends on your camp if you are lucky like now us in gombe because of the security situation so we we're not at we're at a secondary school that was our campsite not the actual um one minute not the actual nyc camp in gombe so the rooms we stayed i heard that it was like a a laboratory like when it was when the school was still functioning so we're lucky to have two sockets working so it was close to our bed so we just figured out how to make it work for us but i heard that in other camps i think my friends that did their service in other camps they didn't have that at all like no socket so everything you use will be through a power bank so please get a power bank like a friend of mine had this power bank like my power bank was useless jesus like it was all this body percentage power bank that they just say if my phone is 20 and the power bank is 80 if my phone should charge to 21 percent my power bank will charge will now decrease to 79 percent so like one percentage per power bank that thing is just nonsense so please get that like the big power bank like you know that thick one the one of um, 20,000 MA, please invest in it. I beg you, steal your father's own, steal your other brother's own if you have to. But that is just the best power bank you need. Like a friend of mine, Gideon, like his power, I used to beg for Gideon's power bank because like it's just, I, I think it just had four bars. But like before one bar died, like I think he has charged his phone, well our phone, like two times, then the next one. So but like charging power banks is about like hundred naira sham. But like it's not even about the money, it's about the time. Because I was gonna charge my power bank. Like I was I was lucky because of the socket situation in my room. If not, like I'll charge my power bank before the thing has like charged my phone completely, power bank has died. Phone like I don't know, no, like please get a good power bank please so now food the food situation in mommy is that once you come to camp they give you a meal card where if you are going to collect um breakfast lunch and dinner you go with your your meal card once you collect your food is signed but me i didn't i didn't eat camp food i was mostly buying for mommy and mommy food in gombe state was very it was nice and it was not so expensive it was actually not expensive i think a plate of rice and meat was about 350 and also we had varieties oh lord we had toast like we had shawarma we had suya like it was like i really enjoyed calm and mommy like it was actually very nice so you have to be very very money conscious so me now what i did is that 
when I went to camp, I went with like about, I went with cash. Like I went with cash that I used for a while. So when you get to camp, they'll give you bicycle allowance, which is about like 1,200 or anti something i can't remember but i know that the money they give is not so much but like if you are not selective then you should have no problem like eating food from the kitchen so you can try it out and if it is okay it's actually help you save money you can eat for mommy so now now next thing so if now you are like me in the plus size community maybe like on the side of bigger hips bigger boobs and stuff please i would highly suggest that you come to camp with your own stuff so what do i mean so when i was going to camp i think i went with about six to seven shorts and six to seven shirts so going to camp now besides our khaki which is the um the jacket the trouser they will still give you two shorts and two t-shirts but the thing is that all this bulk production the quality is never so much so they, they just gave us two shots but i like it was not it didn't like it was too tight for me and i personally was not comfortable with that so like after you can choose to wear it or not but i think i just dashed my friends in camp that were on the thinner side so if you know like you have like you have specific things like how you want your clothes to be how you want it to fit on your body then please try to go to camp with your stuff so in camp they have people that handle laundry and everything you pay them a certain amount and they'll do it so when i got to camp i had a guy ibrahim so instead of doing this thing where i go and give him today and be like oh ibrahim and um, take wash this shirt from me and I take wash this so we just had kind of kind of like had an arrangement so which I feel like is better where you just know that okay this is your laundry guy so you just give him the clothes he washes there maybe I don't know whatever agreement you guys come to so maybe at the end of the camp you can just give him 5k or beginning of camp you can just give him 2k so me I knew that I was going to use laundry like because I like I, I wasn't I didn't come with the intention of stressing myself at all so I came from home I brought like um detergents and all these things so i just used to give them like we were like we turned out to be like friends anyways so yes that just find something that works for you so because i had like enough shots so it was not even a problem so i would just give him he'll bring it back i'll give him like not even if no one one like just find something that works for you basically so next thing is provision so it depends on the kind of person you are i don't really take provision so every provision i bought i ended up even dashing ibrahim when we we're leaving camp anyways so if you are a provision person then fine and good take provisions you can take gary um you can take milo milk you know like basically body house style but i don't take provisions but i just took it because like i was going to bombay i didn't know if i would like the food i didn't know if i would like the pepper I was, I was not sure what i was going into so that is why i just packed so please when we talk about packing please ensure that everything you pack fits in one box like and that was a serious problem for me because i am a serial over packer like oh my goodness we will pack two things i'll just be like eh, what if there's no what if see in camp the only outfit is white and white so don't there's only carrying two jeans just carry one jeans and that one jeans is what you should wear to go to camp then you can carry one dress for what you wear when you're leaving camp any other thing is unnecessary okay so in our camp oh my god gombe camp was so chill like our camp commandant was so nice the soldiers on camp were very nice so on sunday they used to give us this grace to wear mufti in the morning because of church service <laughs> church <laughs> because of church service please try and go to church don't be like me try and go to church try and look for one church you can attend in camp but me like that was always my sleeping time so yeah you know <laughs> anyways so they used to allow us to wear mufti then by like was it one or three i think it was one nobody can wear mufti again you should have changed to your white on white so please don't bother packing like try and ensure i'm packing too much things try and ensure that your camp things will fit in one box and even that one box let it not be filled to the brim because when you get to camp they'll still give you jungle boots that is big they'll still give you khaki shorts and all these things so please ensure that there's even still space so that when you put all your box you can chuck it under your bunk do you understand package yourself together like us now in my room i was fortunate to have the best roommates in camp like we're like 13 in a room 
but like there was no theft in my room but i can't say that for everybody's camp experience so you know try to package yourself then even though like when i came in the beginning i did not know that okay um maybe the people that were uh, i'm roommates with they are you know not bad people they are not thieves and all these things so when i came everybody was still trying to you know package themselves so when i finish in the night eh, i will lock my box <laughs> I can't, everybody has their strength everybody has their weaknesses so me i know whoa, that if as i'm sleeping somebody just come just touch me for the key i feel no wake up and like that my iphone not carry leg where can they go so what i used to do is that when i put the key and i think i want to put the key inside face marks i want to tie the thing i want to like tie the my key inside the face marks gong gong like that's after i put my box under my bunk i'll tie the key inside face marks like i'll tie that wrap is small then i'll check inside my clothes and sleep on my on my stomach so that at least if you want to carry this key you should have turned turn me eh and took your hand inside before you can assess my key but until then my thing is safe for me she get it. it's safe someone is calling me okay so you have to be very sensitive to your environment and just be very very adjustable so i think i've basically covered up everything okay yes please um take a really moisturizing cream when you're going because when i went the weather was very 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 windy so besides lotion um tr um get a really moisturizing cream but what there's a hack i use let me explain it to you properly okay now so there's this traveling hack i use when okay this is my body oil now can you see how long it is so because when you're traveling like to a place like camp now you know all these hotel um shampoo containers you look for one around the house like something small like that then you transfer the oil you want to use inside like then you now maybe put nylon on top and tie so that the thing will not leak so that everything you you do just be place place like it to be um packaging packaging like small small and stuff so i don't know what the weather is like right now in Gumbe, but please still try to carry moisturizing stuff so that you will not be all ashy because like i think we're entering hamatan season so you won't be all ashy and uncomfortable so yes when i went there i really broke out like god i broke out so bad in calm but well, i came back and like my skin got better i don't know if it's because of the water probably yes but like what can somebody do so just you just go there do your best and have fun like the platoon events were fun i made so many friends in camp like so many friends that i love today go like even though maybe we didn't talk so much like till now but like at least like it was just a very fun experience that like, if i look back i can be like oh yes i met so so and so person in camp and everything um please open yourself up to activities i don't see the point of going to camp and forming or like trying to know me and go or make new friends like it's just make the three weeks so freaking long but like when you have fun like towards the end tip everything will just be you know chilled nice mr nyc mr nyc yeah anything so i think i've covered basically everything in this so please thank you for watching to the end of this video if you watched this video to this point that means you are probably really looking for everything on camp experiences and stuff and i really wish you the best time in camp i hope your camp people are chilled i hope they are nice and really fun so thank you for watching this point of the video have a very wonderful blissful camp experience bye